guys, hope y'all are doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks again for stopping by. So today I'm gonna do a one year review on my Dunium Burke Florentine Satchel. In my original video, I said this was a medium size, but Dunium Burke recently changed the name of this to call it a large. I guess everyone was complaining that when they got it, it was actually bigger than they thought. So I still consider this a medium size because if y'all have been following me, I love big bags. So anyhow, this can fit a lot, however, if you do like big bags. When I first got this, it was around Thanksgiving or close to Thanksgiving. There was a huge sale going on on Dooney and Burke website for all of their Florentine bags, or actually for most of their bags, but they were doing a great sale for their Florentine. And y'all know that I've told you many, many times, I'm not a careful person. I don't think I ever have been as a kid. I just was one of those kids that would run around and just not like, I don't know. I just, <laughs> but anyhow, so I shied away from getting Florentine because they're prone to scratches and watermarks, which I just took this out of its dust bag and I saw that there was, I think this is a dessert drink that I had when family came to visit, but I only noticed it now because it's super, super tiny and I'm kind of, actually, I'm afraid to clean it because, okay, story time, you guys. Now that you guys know <laughs> about me and my stories and stuff like that. So, originally when I filmed my, my one month review on this bag, my second video on YouTube, <laughs> I actually recorded the part where I had a story time. And so this right here and you might actually notice like if you w watch that video again when I'm actually turning the bag like 360 I kind of laughed when I said the back side of the bag I kind of laughed you can hear me like laughing because so this section right here it did not look like this it was like pristine when I first got this from the Junior Burke website it was just immaculate it was beautiful okay no nothing on it. It's brand brand new, no marks, no nothing. And I think, because the spot was like super super small, even smaller than this, whatever this thing is. Well, I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube about how to care for Florentine because I was like super like, oh my goodness, I don't know if I can handle it. A lot of handbag YouTube creators were saying if you ever get a spot on Florentine, don't rub into it. And of course, what did I do? I ribbed into it. So <laughs> I took regular faucet water and you're not supposed to use regular faucet water on it, but I panicked and my daughter was with me and we were both like, oh my goodness. And she saw this turn into a big mess. Um, <laughs> so I took faucet water and I was just you know, scrubbing it and then it turned like really dark because, you know, faucet water, it has like calcium and things like that naturally. Yeah. So I, I did that to my bag, but with the patina, it really blends in now. So it, you can't even, I don't know if you even can see this on camera. By the way, that happened like only a week of having the bag. <laughs> so I was like, when that happened, I was like, yep, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. It, I wasn't going to have a Florentine that was going to be like the same way I got it brand new for a long time. I mean, I just, I just knew it. I just knew it because I knew, I know how I am. Okay. So going back to my review. Okay. So I absolutely love this bag. Y'all know that... I've done like bag switches and stuff like that on camera and you know I absolutely love this bag and it has patinaed it has gotten darker and I love it it's got like a caramel like a dark oh like a toffee it's like a toffee color like dark caramel rich oh it's so delicious okay so yeah so it has that beautiful patina and 
everything looks great. No wear really on anything. Um, I think it's probably time to lotion it up again. So when this happened right here, it was before I sprayed the Rain Guard from Apple. And y'all, fair warning, use cleaners at your own risk. I'm not gonna endorse something because I don't know what type of leather you're using it on. I don't know what type of bags you're using it on. So just use it at your own risk. After this happened, that's when I put the spray on it. Yep, I don't ever take her out in bad weather though. If there's any chance of rain or if it even looks cloudy outside, I do not take her out. And the zipper is still magnificent. So smooth. And the uh, suede lining, still beautiful. Still in great condition. Y'all, her Florentine smell is still just amazing. I mean, I can smell her as soon as I open my closet. I mean, I can smell the Florentine smell. Of course, I have, you know, a few Florentines in my closet, so that's probably why. It's just, it's not just her. Um, so there's a lot of scratches on here because you're going to be, like, folding it up, folding it down. So, yeah, there's scratches on there. And... The zipper pull is in great condition. I don't see any type of wear on it. All the stitching looks amazing. No issues there. And the hardware, no issues on that. And the tassels, y'all, I know a lot of people use the brush holders on their tassels. I don't because the bucket bag that I have, that I've had for almost 30 years, I love how it flares. And it's meant to do that, and that's the whole purpose of why there's green suede on here. It just shows the character and the beauty. I mean, whatever, you know, you do you. I'm the type of person, like, I don't care what you do with your bags. But for me, I love the character with aging that develops on my handbags. Any leather item, like boots, purses, jackets, and now my leather traveler notebooks. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, I'm getting really into those traveler's notebooks. Um, okay, so enough about the notebooks. Um, let me see. Yeah, so even the side stitching on here with the decor looks great. Everything looks wonderful. And the whip stitching looks great. The handles on both sides. And even the interior, y'all. Like the stitching in the interior. All of that looks great, too. No issues on that. All the pockets are tightly sewn on the inside. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this review. I have used her, I would say I've used her maybe 20 times in a year and only because, you know, you gotta give all of your handbags some love, right? You can't use just one all the time. However, sometimes I feel like there are some bags that I do stay in longer than I should. But every time I use her, y'all, like I get compliments. I get people staring at her from afar. I mean, she is just a head turner. She is worth every penny. And I look forward to using her for many more years. I think she will last a long time because I can tell she is made very well. And of course, with the history that I've had with Dunia Burke, all my bags have lasted a long time. 
Okay, y'all, I forgot to show you the bottom. So I'm showing it now and it is in pretty good condition except this right here. I did that like maybe a month or two later after my one month review. I set it on a shopping cart and like the piece of the shopping cart got stuck to it and then I just yanked it and it made that big gash. I don't think I can rub it out. Maybe if I put lotion on it or something. Oh, actually, you know what? It might actually come off now that I'm like rubbing on it. I'll have to lotion that up. Let me show you. Not much wear and tear on the corners. Corners still look great. <laughs> Looks great over here. Right over here. And the feet still look great. All the stitching still looks immaculate. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave it at here because I don't want this video like super long. I hope you enjoyed the tidbit story. <laughs> now y'all know why I had a little laughter in my first video about this bag. I'm going to do more lifestyle videos, so be on the lookout for that. I haven't really touched a lot on lifestyle, but um, I'm going to talk about the goals that I've set for myself, the changes that I've made in my life, and how that has helped me. So be on the lookout for those, and y'all will know a little bit more about what I do. <laughs> and why I am the way I am. I'm excited for that chapter to finally be a part of my channel and so I hope you stay tuned for that and I appreciate y'all coming back watching my videos because I really am shocked at how often y'all come to see what I have in store for y'all and I look forward to sharing more. It's been an adventure and I love it and y'all are super sweet. All the uh, new subs that have subbed, thank you so much and all the ones that have been with me since the beginning. I really appreciate y'all. All right, so I hope y'all enjoy this one year review. And if you haven't subbed already, please consider it. My content does have a lot of variety because I do enjoy a lot of things. And I hope it is helpful for y'all watching my videos. And I look forward to sharing with y'all in the future. So I hope to see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.